Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tom, and today I'm taking a look at Quincy Market in Boston, Massachusetts. If you've ever been to Boston before, odds are you've probably been to Quincy Market. Quincy Market was built between 1824 and 1826, which makes it nearly 200 years old at this point. It's been on the National Register of Historic Places since 1966, but what it's most famous for today is the amazing selection of food. So let's get something to eat. The only downside about coming here on a day trip is that you can't try everything. Lobster salad roll is 22. Let's keep looking. We can, come, we can come back. Yeah, yeah. No, I want to look I've actually never tried Greek food, but it does look good. We got pizza there last time. We got pizza here last time. Awesome chowder. And don't forget, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and hit the notification bell. It really helps. Thanks. Yeah. Got lobster melt. Their lobster rolls are 26. Oh yeah. 27. Yeah. What is this, Dino Safari? Exhibit, exit only. I'd like to know where the entrance is. Alright, we'll take a look at that on the way out. Yeah. See, see what's there. Yeah. Here's a photo of what the place used to look like around, I think, the 1850s or so. And you can see that dome there in the center. Well, that's where we are now. This is the dome. The dome's apparently made out of copper underneath all that paint and decoration, and it's pretty spectacular. And in a minute, we'll actually go up to that second level and get a little bit better look. Arancini? Never heard of those. Those ball things? Oh. No. Yeah. If I wasn't worried about getting sick, I would eat every one of those pastries in there. They look amazing.
if you're a fan of seafood, this is definitely the place to come. I'm admittedly not a fan of seafood, but there's plenty of other stuff to eat too. We have lobster rolls. Crab Mac and cheese is tempting. Mac and cheese. Very tempting. Let's see. So before we get something to eat, let's head upstairs and take a look. I've actually never been upstairs, even though I've been to Quincy Market probably at least 10 to 15 times before. I've never ventured upstairs. It's mostly just extra seating up here, but there's also this fancy restaurant down at the end here. It's called either Perry's or Paris. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Never been in there. Don't know anything about it, but it looks fancy. And then uh, down at the other end, we have the entrance to that dinosaur exhibit, which I think is new because I don't remember it being here the last yeah. time I was here just uh, maybe a year or two ago. Temporarily closed. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Hard to believe it's almost 200 years old.
Yeah, looking right now. One second. Yeah, can I have uh, two slices of pepperoni and a Coke Zero? No Coke Zero left? Um, all right, yeah, that's fine, Diet Coke. How much is it? I got pizza the last time I was here too, and I know I probably should have tried something different but I was really in the mood for some pizza, and it's pretty good pizza. It's not the best pizza I've ever had, but it's better than like Domino's or any other fast food type pizza. Okay, let's go find a seat. Huh? I didn't get anything to drink. Can't get anything to drink? Well, there's nothing left. You can't, you can't get anything to drink now. No, I can't. I've been looking around. There's still any stand up ones. In addition to the food vendors, they also have these little kiosks here on the outskirts of the market. And I always used to think that this area was new, that it was a new addition to the market. But as you can see in this photo here from sometime in the 1850s, they actually had something very similar to this back then. I'm sure these are new structures here. The old ones would have fallen apart. But as you can see there, the, it was very similar, you know, 150, 200 years ago. And I never knew that. Did that used to be Cheers? Straight ahead, that used to be Cheers. It was a restaurant based on the TV show, but apparently it closed in 2020, which is kind of disappointing. I always did want to go there. It's a little glass. And there you have it. That's Quincy Market in Boston, Massachusetts. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.